Many users have asked me in the past if they can automatically rename their toolpaths depending upon uh, parameters such as the strategy, perhaps the tool type, the tool diameter, the tool tip radius, maybe the thickness. Uh, so they would like some of these parameters incorporated into the toolpath's name. So we've created a macro that allows you to quite easily do this. Uh, to run the macro, I've set it up for you to work on the toolpath user menu. Um, doesn't matter which one you choose, actually. It will simply rename all of the toolpaths. So you could put this on uh, a custom toolbar would be a more appropriate place. But I'm just going to run it or show you it from the user menu. So here we've got the option to rename all toolpaths. But before I run it, I'd like to show you a few attributes to the macro so that you can make simple edits very easily. So if I just open up this macro for edit, you will see that there's a number of Boolean variables being created. So this one is for the tool length, and it's currently defined as true. The tool diameter is true. The tool tip radius is true. If you want the tool overhang to be in the name, it's currently false. So you would simply change this false to be true, and then you will get the tool overhang in the toolpath's name. Uh, the toolpath thickness is currently false, but if you wanted the thickness to be in the name, change it to true. So you can switch any of these variables from true to false or vice versa. Um, you can also have a counter in the name if you want. Let me just scroll up a little. So we've got a boolean counter true and I've got the counter start one and the increment one. So this will uh, number all of the toolpaths starting with one in increments of one. And if you want you can put a suffix on the end. At the moment I've got this to be false but if you wanted a suffix you can add it and you can change the the actual suffix here, I've got dot .h, but you could put that to anything you like. Any of the other prefixes, so for example for the tool tip radius, I've defined a prefix r, but you can change this r for tip radius, or this d for diameter, or this l for length, to whatever you like. So some simple edits within this uh, top part of the macro can enable you to customize the macro to whatever you want. So let's run the macro. Here we've got a series of toolpaths. If I right click user and rename all toolpaths, you will see that very quickly it's used the counter. So each toolpath starts with one, then two, then three, four, five, six, seven, etc. It's got the tool type in the name, then it has the length the diameter and if applicable which is not the case for all tools it has the tip radius so a quick way of just renaming all of the toolpaths in a macro which is really quite easy to customize